Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Paola. Paola is a town in Calabria in Italy where I've stayed about five nights before I managed to buy my apartment in Scalea. So the main city is actually behind these houses there. And uh, I came from Scalea. I'm going to head to La Mezia Terme Airport now for another trip because I've been staying in Scalea about three weeks. The weather is pretty good today, but last days and well nearly weeks it's been quite dreadful some say it's the worst weather in Italy in May not only in this area so although I had some Sun but well, I haven't done too many things really and I decided it's time to go the cats are safe they have a shelter they have food so the mother is taking care of them so that's all right although it's a bit sad to leave it always is but this time I'm not gonna go for five months maybe maybe months or something like this Freccia Rossa the fast train going to Napoli so I decided I'm not gonna go to town because the bag is quite heavy same bag and I need to change it there's a hole in there already and the reason I haven't changed it and uh, because I haven't been in the shop to look one <laughs> but at the moment it's all right bag's quite heavy because I had some leftover foods and that decision I made came only about two days ago and now I have some fish sandwiches I have first time in my life I've traveled like a vegetarian I have three lemons I have a bunch of raw asparagus with me I didn't want to get rid of that one some blue cheese some other smoked cheese so there's a boiled egg six of them so that is a <laughs> the whole whole fridge is there and from Scalea to La Mezza Derma Airport is about uh, with this route I'm going now I have a change over here in Paola 45 minutes uh, and then another 40 to maybe maybe 40 minutes to La Mezza Derma and from there I have enough time I can even walk to airport I've done it many times the bus to airport from station uh, from La Mezza Derma is usually I think was 250 last time it only takes I don't know well half an hour walk distance is nothing really I'm probably gonna walk because I have some time and then with the Ryanair 21 euros I'm heading to Malta once again I know um, is that seventh or eighth time already well the answer is in the last video by Malta I think I've been to Malta about in January so yeah I'm only gonna stay there one and a half days so it's not uh, like a for a holiday but from Malta I found the best connection to my next destination because I've done a lot of research and the prices and the times and all these things they weren't not nice so now the best time is to stay in Malta because it's only 50 minute flight from a Mezzo Terme so that's very good and I'm gonna arrive to Malta before 80 p.m. so I can easily reach my hotel and tomorrow I have time to explore Malta a bit more for the eighth time or seventh never mind it's my second home already but uh, yeah I do love Malta out of all this out of all this um, Canary Islands and Greek Islands I think Malta for best it's best for me because of the architecture the prices are actually pretty good. I mean, the apartments are, are expensive. Well, but if you stay, I mean, summertime, season time, they are expensive. But out of season, if you haven't watched my other Malta videos, check them out. About 16 euros are paid for apart hotels and that. Out of season. The weather is good there, even actually in January. Well, now it's getting more quiet. You know, if you heard any of my talk. Sapri train is here okay after that one I have about 20 minutes left here oh I put my long pants on forgive me forgive me father we usually actually behind a the corner there is a coffee shop usually I go there to have a coffee but I had a good coffee in the morning already and I had uh, lots of spinach I had uh, zucchini and scrambled eggs a half a grapefruit so that that really put the 
pressure in my stomach. Oh, the whole Vespa. Very good. Let's see the orange one. It sounds beautiful. All right. That's it for now. Next stop will be La Mezzia Terma in southern Italy. So now arrivato after two hours. Well, because I had a changeover 45 minutes, you could actually reach from Scalea to La Mezzia Terma in about one hour with a fast train. But now, actually, if you wanted to take fast train from Paola, which actually lived pretty much the same time, like a slow one, uh, you couldn't win with a fast one because they announced that the uh, fast one will be 50 minutes late. So sometimes you want to take a fast train, but you're gonna end up paying much more and you get the slow one. Luckily, it never happened with me. So this is the La Mezzia Terme train station. And usually I go to the station bar or a snack bar there get some cold beer but it's a bit early for me I feel like I don't really want a beer now this is shame uh, that is the station La Mecha Airlink that takes you to the airport but I have like three hours left so I'm gonna walk to the station uh, there are more bars there and a grand hotel all right last chance to get a beer the walk is actually not too bad. You have to cross one of the uh, roundabouts, which is not, uh, well, not for most people perhaps. But with my small bag, which is a bit lighter now. Well, the bag is lighter, I'm heavier because I had two sandwiches. So there's a few possible ways. Well, I'm still thinking about the beer, but uh, hmm. you're kind of thirsty and it's half an hour walk. Yeah, I'm not gonna skip that beer. It's one of 50 in the station bar. Very nice. Mm. I'm gonna miss a good Italian beer because some other countries, the Italian beer costs a bit. Mm. Ice cold. Um, anyway, it's a light one, so won't feel after this one. Light and a small one. 4.7 only. Ooh, that's for kids. Yeah, I only sat down one minute. So let's walk to the station now. It's only 27 minutes walk. I could take a bus, of course. It's only about 250 euros. But I arrived too early. I took a one hour earlier train because of the delays. There could be. It's very common in Italy. So I want to be in a safe side. And although I went to bed about four o'clock in the morning last night, I managed to wake up about 10. You see, the weather is also changing. I see from the train window that some people were on the beach. So same beer, 165 Dreher for free. Very good. Peroni is a bit better. Depends on the weather. I remember I liked this, liked it even more before. But it's still about 20 degrees. But luckily, these days, we had rain, but there wasn't much uh, of wind. But anyway, it doesn't matter. If it's rainy, I'm not gonna go outside. So yesterday I managed to go to the shop with a Vespa. So luckily I didn't get too wet. I tried to be quick. I needed some supplies, but yeah. I think now it's the best time to do my little trip. Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm starting to come back alive. Slowly, slowly. So here they have Butsi gravestone just next to the road. Nineteen eighty four, that's when I was born. Not sure what happened, maybe got hit by a car. But yeah, now I'm walking next to the road. Sometimes I happen to be here in the evening in the dark, but now it's it's nothing really. It's 
a rare case where you can walk to the airport from the bus station or uh, or La Mecha Terme Centrale. This station was actually not the center, not the center of the town. You can see the airport already. So I only have to cross this roundabout over here. Doesn't seem to be too busy. Just have to be careful, that's all. So it's not too bad here. And luckily it's not too hot now either. We got me bag and uh, long pants. Now the airport is closer than I thought. Now I'm taking a different route this time. Usually I think the bus came out this way. So that's more interesting because I walked. Now one of the buses going there now. Might be a random one, but this is how I usually walked. But this is more interesting over here. Well, I wish I knew this road before because it's much safer than the other one, which is on the right side. And the airport is just to the front of me. We're starting from here. And the abandoned little boot. Welcome to La Mecha Terme International Airport. It's a very Soviet looking airport. It's very nice. Especially if you arrive with a flight, you see the architecture is one of its kind. Surrounded by hills, beautiful nature. Very good. And that is the terminal. Bus to train station leaves just. 30 meters from that side. It's like a spaceship. We have some of the flights little today. Mine is Malta. Still two hours left. Even a little bit over two hours. Flight is only 50 minutes, but you know, can't can't leave it in the last minute really. I don't like to do that. I have plenty of time. Mostly local flights today. I'm happy that Ryanair goes from here. It used to be only 7.99 for Malta tickets from La Mezia. But now it was 21. But some days were 15. So that's very good also. So first time I'm going to walk now on the little bit on the left side. It's too early to go inside because there's not much to do. It's a very small airport. Yes, one bar and... Uh, little souvenir shop and like a big big terminal it's like a hall I mean it's an interesting one so this is how you enter after the security security is very fast it only took me about I don't know two minutes max it's very quiet it's not many flights going on the kiosk here is closed we have a cafe and the end of the building a oh, little souvenir shop another little shop oh that's more things open than last time that's good and the main waiting hall is down there i'm gonna stay here a little bit so this is the boarding area which is like one big tent. We only have six gates here. You can buy some baguettes there, 790 euros. I just had my egg sandwich now, so I'm good. Still have, I think, less than an hour now, so it's all right. Now getting on a plane. They changed this a bit. Last year it was many red features. It looked more futuristic. Now it's, well, still good. Different than most of the others. And there is the Ryanair. I've been given the middle seat, but I'm gonna go in last, as usual, and then see if I have space somewhere else. Very good, it's got three seats for myself. No, I'm not going to do it.
It doesn't look too full. Anyway, it's only about 50 minute flight, so that's very nice. Thank you very much. Very good afternoon from the flight. Oh yes, that's more like it. Got out from the airport before and past number X war was just there. It happens to me so many times. So thankful. Laws of life. Very nice. So now I'm walking about 15 minutes total from the bus stop. So about 20 minutes I was in the bus 64. And first time in my life I stay in the area called Hamrun. It's not far from Valletta, maybe 20-25 minute walk. So I booked the cheapest place. Actually I didn't choose this place because it was cheapest. I chose it because I wanted a different location and not in the end of the island this time. So that was absolutely nice. And I wanted to stay two nights and that place was available minimum two nights and 61 euros. Um, score is really high, 9.5 on booking.com, uh, 56 reviews. I don't know why it's so high. They say it's very special. The one thing uh, which there isn't is a private bathroom. Normally I don't do the... Uh, shared bathroom once but today is already evening and today uh, tomorrow i'm gonna be out all day for sure because i'm only here for a one and a half day and i don't mind i don't know why the score was so high maybe because the guy told me that uh, he left some left some fruits for me i don't know i love the fruits maybe i can cook the asparagus as well Ah, God, I need to see the map. I don't know where I am. So what's the day? I think it's Thursday, 18th of May. It's a bit wind today, as the weather cast was showing, but it's warm. That is nice. Oh, four months since that's been. <laughs> Someone's screaming in the car. I love the houses and the even the basic kind of the buildings. Oh, oh, don't remind me of the cats. You get sense the scent of the cat. You're the Maltese cat. You look exactly like Italian one. Oh, God, they're slim. Yes. I was feeding them cats of mine. Well, not my cats. But if you've seen some uh, previous videos, there are some cats. So two cats keep coming. And one gave birth six, uh, 26th of April this year. And the other one three weeks after. So two days ago. And I saw everything there. Wow. One day, one day old kittens, they were so active already, all the blind and death. But it was, wow. It was interesting. But they are living now on my terrace there. Uh, covered from the rain. I have the automatic cat feeder. So mother is still nursing them. So I did the best I could. Imagine I had 10 cats in my room. Wow. The other four were pretty big already. Sometimes I lifted them up, you know, so I took many pictures. But yeah, it was a bit sad to leave them behind. Like, well, I'm, but I'm, I've done the best I could. Yeah. So hopefully I will get over it very soon. But I won't stay away from Italy very long time. And also I have a camera installed, like installed, like usually. I can see the light picture in the area where the cats are and uh, that's that's very good and if there's any movement I will receive the picture on the phone so that's good before my place Lotus Guest House which if you google Lotus Guest House in Malta comes up there's a K 
Okay, massage. Maybe that's why it has a nice <laughs> color, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna buy some water because I uh, used to drink that one. So no sugar for me now. I think today I've been walking already like uh, more than I walked in the last two weeks. So I only went out to the West Point. Uh, it was interesting to walk in the city center today. So the drinks are there. Let me get some a couple of cold beers. Ah, hidden there. No prices. Never mind. Nice, my place is just next to the shop. Very classic street. Now I need to contact the guy on WhatsApp and he's gonna open the door via internet. Yeah, the beer prices were there, but they were a little faded. I think the big one was 150 and you want to buy Marlboro. One pack was five euros and 60 cents. Oh, this is a beautiful street. This is one of Malta. Okay, better contact him. So that was quick. He replied after like 20 seconds. And, well, no wonder this reviews are very good and the score is very good. See, he left me all this for free. I already have actually one banana in my bag. Four waters. I just bought two liters, but never mind. And he texted me again. Wow. So I know this guy is all about this meditating and all this kind of good life kind of things. So that's perfect for me. Bathroom is just outside. Buddha room. This is called Lotus room. Look at this. <laughs> no way. This is the bathroom. Oh my god. I can't believe. I think it's the most beautiful bathroom I've seen in every hotel or. Wow. The toilet is here. Unbelievable. That is really the best place. I don't mind to share a bathroom like this. Little statues. Oh wow. That's the first floor. Wow, what a beauty. <laughs> what a beauty. I didn't know I have fridge here. That's perfect. So you can have a massage. I told the guy that the bathroom is out of this world. And this is the other side of the place. You got a piano here, you got violin. Little chess board. Steward. There's another floor. So let's see what we have here then. What else we have? Showed you a couple of things before. That's my coffee, Lavazza. Took it with me. And we have a kettle here, so that is perfect. There are teas, organic one. I took some teas also with me. Very nice. I even managed to take adapter, but see, they have a few adapters there. So, but you never know. And this is my rough banana. And I didn't spot before. Look at this one. There's some proper snacks for free here. Unbelievable. Wow, that is that is out of this world. And I put the stuff in the fridge. I'm so happy I have the fridge. The cheese smelting. Gorgonzola I bought from Scalea. I have a half a grapefruit here. Boiled eggs. So another cheese here. Plus another small cheese. So otherwise they will be ruined. And this is the asparagus. <laughs> First time ever. I rarely buy asparagus, but in Italy they're very really good priced, I have to say. And I tried. Can you eat it with a raw and it is very good. I'm surprised. It's a very nice taste raw. Even better than boiled. Because once you overboil it, it's horrible. But wow. 
Mm. No surprise. Once I discovered, that was years ago already, but again before I didn't try, that you can eat the raw cauliflower. It's like cabbage. It's very nice. Flowers here and stuff. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna just chill here. I got my beers. I got my snacks. I'm gonna have a cheese board here. Uh, I have a spoon, but I should have a plastic knife in my bag also. So that's very nice. Russell hops. Ooh, fancy. Oh, that is great. Well, that's about it. My arriving to Malta. Very fast, very smooth, and now I'm just eating the cheese with a spoon. It's very sharp. I didn't find the plastic knife. There might be a kitchen downstairs, but I can't be bothered. So I might as well read some secrets and drink a nice cold beer. So thanks again for watching, guys, and see you tomorrow evening. I think so.